The cases open and shut. I was balancing a mahogany bowl on my dick. I was about to enter the zone. A wolf wandered by. The tip of his wet snout, illuminated by the moon, grazed my balls. He looked quizzically at my dick, wondering, was it food? Is it a friend? He licked the tip curiously. He recoiled. I guess he wasn't expecting the salty chrome of my dome. I let out a moan and thought about home. I started to roam, to foam, my poor bone. Gotta get gut to gut if you want to meet King Tut. I was trying to keep my cool. At that time, I was on a protein-rich diet of nuts, butternuts, and peanuts. Suddenly, I had the wolf on my back. I also seemed to be riding a large wolf. Then I realized it was just a skateboard with a picture of a wolf on it. I was also wearing a wolf shirt. I was terrified, but at the same time I felt invigorated by the strong scent of wolf in the air. Strength was returning to my dick. I could do that again if he gave another lick, I thought. Got to get gut to gut with old King Tut indeed. There was a pack all around us. Their eyes were feasting on my dick. What magic was this? Be you a wolf moon magistrate, have you the currency to calculate my dick? That's when the wolves began. One gently removed my large hat, and other removed the small hat that I had on under that. He handed me a large cup of Mountain Dew. He said, drink this. Looking back, I'm not sure that it was actually Mountain Dew. Maybe it was Baja Blast, but that is in the past. The alpha wolf angrily clawed the mahogany bowl off my dick, got down on his wolf knees and started to thoroughly please, tease, and squeeze. Then someone took my picture and said, say cheese. They brought me to the Tower of the Moon, a rounded spiral that's been sea-hardened over time. I bashfully lowered my head, prepared now to suffer whatever the wolves would inflict. Gotta get gut to gut if you want to meet King Tut. I started to wonder, would I die here? Would the wolves use my body after I was dead? Would they punctuate me with howls, or would they just wolf me down? I craved a humane experience. They chained my dick to a large fountain and started running cold water over it. The monks began chanting their Gregorian hymns. My dick was a sight to see. The chief priest sliced my dick in half, straight down the banjo string. The body of the banjo, the so-called sack, was now ready for harvesting. They ate my dick from the inside out, working their way till the mustard of my loins turned into ketchup and licked it all up like pups at the mother's nap. I learned a lot about myself that day, about my body, and how far I could go. The wolves got their due. Have you?